comrades, I am Admiral Andre, and welcome to the final episode number 35 of our series in real politics with South Africa. The end is here. In less than two years the game will end, or at least the campaign will. I'm sure there'll be an option to continue playing, but we have already decided to end at the... Uh, 100 year, was it 80? 80 year mark, I guess, because we started in 2020. So, I see the notices here. I'm just continuing on now. I exited and re-entered the game now, but the notices of our allies wanting to leave us, it's gone again. So, it does seem to shuffle a bit around when you exit the game, strangely enough, but I'm sure it will come back in a moment. Well, this is it. Brazil is still trying to uh, take advantage of us here and abuse us, but I'm definitely putting a stop to that. Let's see if we can do something about it. Clear the skies. We'll try again. And continue. Oh, hold on. Immediately some action happens. Syria left the bloc of Saudi Arabia and war between Mashriq and Iran. This will be very interesting. Iran is being challenged by ISIS. Well, I'm sure this is not ISIS anymore. This is some descendant of ISIS. Well, we'll see what happens there. If the game had continued, I would have had to intervene because we can't let terrorists start taking over more and more of the world. Come on. Clear the skies. Dominican Republic left the US. Central Asian Union left the bloc of South Korea. Spy network with Belgium now. I guess it goes now according to the countries that hate us the most. Do it. Just, you know, take care of them. Block of Turkey has been destroyed. The world is falling apart around us. Nigeria and Europea are in strife and we have to support Nigeria. We'll support our African friends, number one. Chemical weapons. Some of our generals have proposed using chemicals on the front lines. There's no denying their effectiveness, but it isn't the most ethical way of fighting. Well, first of all, we don't have the action points to use them, so there's no point. Hmm. Oh well, more trouble than they're worth. To be honest, I probably would have done it, because we are, after all, now a totalitarian country, and we're in a desperate fight for the for the end. Look, at this point, it's not so important. We can lose a little bit of prestige. It won't affect our score here at all, since we won't be able to do much in less than two years. But I'm going to keep trying this thing. Singapore left, Lebanon, Lebanon left. UAE left Saudi Arabia. It looks like coalitions are just collapsing all around us. Is ours still okay? It looks like it. Hold on. Somebody wants something here. Ethiopia. What is that? Looks like some censorship thing. For the right price, we're willing to take care of some of the more radical members of your society. Money. Action. Okay, we can't do it anyway. Not interested. Thanks. Guess it's a Guant Guantanamo Bay kind of situation. Lost again. This is what's very interesting, that Brazil is able to abuse us in this way. Cuba left the US. It's just going crazy right now. Kosovo joins Albania. Kosovo has permanently become a part of Albania. I'm sure Serbia is not happy about that. Well, they're part of East Yugoslavia now. Come on, do something. Score, this is the final one. Our, it will change a little bit by the end of the game, but it's not going to be another formal ranking like this. So 33, and the US has 6 more than us, so we did close the gap a little bit there. But fundamentally, we're still second place with Japan third, Europea or Germany fourth, and Indonesia five, which is very interesting. No other African countries there. Lost. Okay, that's it. Uh, this is becoming a bit much. We're going to have to settle with them. Sweden left France. Mali left Nigeria. Everyone is just panicking now. 
block of South Korea has been destroyed. Okay, listen guys, just stay calm here. Block of Germany has been destroyed. People are losing their minds because it's the end of the world, but I'm convinced there'll be a future. Okay, that's it. I think we've had enough of this. Let's, let's negotiate. White peace. Send the offer and it's refused. What the? You dare refuse me. Now listen, 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 listen. Something's got to give here. Do another armor airstrike. This is craziness. Should we get more troops? I don't know if it will make a difference. Probably. Bring me more armor. We're losing a lot of action points now. There's nothing more we can assign here. We're fighting on Venus. Afghanistan left Indonesia. Luxembourg left Canada. Block of Egypt has been destroyed. So it's a free for all now. Soon our allies will probably leave us as well. That's why we need to end this thing. They're holding steady. You see, it's all about resolve at this point. Your willpower. Do you have the will to struggle on? And uh, we must. We must. Propose peace. Political victory. Impose a political system of Brazil and destroy the bloc. Listen to me. That will never happen. Never. 70% war score they're trying to force on us for 12%. You've got to be kidding me. Never. I don't care if we have to fight like this to the end, but it's not ending like that. South Korea and Europea are struggling it out. We like South Korea more, so I'm going to support them. And infrastructure has been damaged. The war has caused massive damage to our entire national infrastructure. It might be wise to start thinking about it now and get ready for the post-war reconstruction effort. Do it. Money per month is not a problem. And unemployment growth will drop because I think we're putting people to work reconstructing. So do it. We don't even have unemployment. Listen, this is craziness. This is just crazy, crazy. And we can't even nuke them. Okay, hold on. Get some more nukes. This doesn't cost action points, only money. So get 237 nukes. Do it. They will see a rain of fire like they've never imagined. Confederation of Lithuania left Canada. Malaysia left Indonesia. The end is nigh. The sky is falling. Well, we own places beyond the sky, so I'm not concerned. Italy left the UK. And I'm sure Pakistan will be bankrupt in between there somewhere. Malawi, we're fighting. Block of the UK is no more. Greece is bankrupt, so I'm sure Pakistan will follow soon. Yakutsk. Come on. We can't even destroy some of their armor, are you kidding me? With a high advantage? This is madness. Try the airfields again. Estonia left Canada, so Canada is no more a block leader, and our action points is zero. We won that! Okay, okay, hold up. Stop, 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 stop. We have zero action points at the moment, but we got this airfield thing now because they gave up. Can I propose a white piece? Will they just accept that? They refused. What arrogance. What mania. Can I... Okay, now I have to wait for 12 days. Well... Now we can start pushing back at least. Secure a front in Brazil. Now we're pushing them. Voting. Accept the changes. I don't care. We are back to authoritarian. That's fine. It's not a problem. It's better that way anyway. Come on, let's get these Brazilians. 
lost. Uh, I'm just going to keep pushing it. And if they don't let us win, we'll nuke the something out of them. We won, so we have a, a beachhead somewhere in South America now. Now we will turn the tide. I offered them many times to accept a white peace, and they refused, so now they will pay for their arrogance. Give us a frontal advance. I don't, have, don't care if we have to spend every last man and rocket. We will settle the score once and for all. Lost. Well, doesn't matter. Keep doing it. A recent summit ended, so more and more breakdowns with Europea. So we'll support the UK. Rio Grande do Sul. Your time is over, Brazil. You think you were lucky, but you were not. It doesn't matter. Sooner or later you will accept, and you even had the gall to ask me to change my government? Are you mad? Have you taken leave of your senses? Doesn't matter, I'll throw every last man against you. India left the UN Security Council, what's happening there? We're third now, we're above the US. Ha, take that. It's because they've the, all the damage to their economy because we took so much territory from them. We're even above China. So it's us and Japan and Germany, Europea. I don't think anyone ever joined their Europea new country. That went nowhere. War between Russia and Belarus. Okay, that's just enough of this now. Do we have the nukes? What are our options here? Let me have some tea. At this point, I don't care about the warmonger points. It's irrelevant. It's so high. It's In any case, it doesn't make any difference. A direct attack on the enemy's units in combat. 15% chance. 5%. They must have some kind of Star Wars as well. Let's do a civil attack. Let's go crazy and nuke Rio de Janeiro. Do it. You will pay. How did Picard say? And I will make them pay for what they've done. There. A successful attack. They lost quite a bit of population and GDP there. Now at least they know we mean business. How long till I can do it again? And we lost. And do a frontal advance again. Assign the new tanks. And lost. And just do it again. It's the final year. It's January of the final year. Block of Indonesia and the US exists no more. Come on, can I turn the key again? Not yet. Uh, do a city capture. See if we can take the ruins of the cities we nuked. Brunei left the block of Indonesia. War between Indonesia and Malaysia. So the world is going absolutely crazy. Our agents have found an opportunity against Cyprus, so of course we will take it. Let's hope something like this never happens in real life, where the whole world just suddenly goes completely bonkers. Sudan is bankrupt. Okay, fine, you want to be like that? I'm going to show you sooner or later. 30 days... India and South Korea will support India. Doesn't really matter at this point. We won. Yes, you see, persistence pays. Uh, I don't know how many lives I 
spent there but okay frontal advance they gave up so let's pause for a moment 23 days till I can push the button uh, let's see if we can get something from them so hold on how much did we have I don't know why I'm so not remembering this 30 percent propose peace and give us something acquire province let's see what do they have 44, 41, 71, 78, 41, and 54. So it's all too expensive. I can't take the center here because that's where Brasilia is. So we have to get at least... How much was Paraguay? 41. Um. Okay, that's fine. Ah, wrong thing stop capture the roads air supremacy try that no it's not us don't know who that was malaysia against indonesia successful hq attack one against brazil see now they start to crumble and panic now it's our time. Supply lines capture. Do it. And as soon as it's time, nuke them. Red button. Shall I push the button? Our satellites have detected un- Oh no, you've got to be joking. Have detected unidentified objects coming our way. While we can't be sure, can we really risk that it's nothing dangerous? If World War Three is upon us, then we should act before it's too late for us to even be a part of it. What is that? Is that an invasion or is it, is it just a, an, a, I don't know, participating countries, France, Japan, Mexico, South Korea and the US. So I guess we're, we're the ones responding to this threat now. It must be some mistake. Oh, this is, oh, it's so interesting. I love this. Push the button or not. What should I do? I wish I could ask you now. My, my advisory council. Push the button. You know what? Should we? What if it's a peaceful? What is it? I have no idea what it even is. Our satellites have detected unidentified objects coming our way, but from where? We already know there's a flying saucer flying around the planets there. We've spoken to them many times. So I'm going to try and be reasonable. Let's say it must be some mistake. Hopefully my my idealism doesn't cost us everything. Let's see if cooler heads prevail while we slaughter the Brazilians. How's ir That's irony for you. It looks like it was, oh, thank goodness, it was just a big misunderstanding. Some technical problems with our satellites. No one was actually shooting at us. Uh, well, what is that, that, that song, uh, 99 Red Balloons, the bugs in the software? That's exactly what it was. Well, well, good, good call there. I'm proud of myself. Block of Nigeria is destroyed, so one by one the big blocks fall. Our action points are st still staying zero, so I guess there's no cost to that. Amazonas. Let's nuke them. <laughs> I just said don't press the red button and now I'm saying press the button again. Uh, what shall we do? Let's attack the army. Do it. Launch our missiles that we have stationed in Angola. Hold on, what the... Failed. Ah, oh, that's a pity. We lost against Brazil. Come on, we have like seven months left. Supply lines capture. Let's end this war before that time runs out. I didn't set a timer on this episode. We're just going to play until the end. Burma is bankrupt. I'll settle this thing 
probably by August. So we just have a little bit of a time to calm down and just assess the situation. Actually, maybe we should just quit while we're ahead. Mm, let's just see this one through. It's dropping. It's going back up. It's Mashrik is bankrupt. Well, that's a good thing. Summit crisis between Austria and South Korea will support South Korea. Prisoner ex extraction. We have a request for extraction of a famous artist who recently arrived here seeking asylum. No, we will refuse. We're not going to be bending to other countries' whims. We are now the new global hegemon, the superpower for the 22nd century. Come on, we're holding on. It's this, it's July and it's going to lose. No, yes, no, maybe Uganda is bankrupt. Lost. Okay, that's it. Settle. Grab something. So we have 42 and acquire province. Let's see, what can we get for 42? It's a pity we can't get that part there. Amazonas. We can probably take the Amazon, whatever is left of it. Sort of protect it, you know. Put a big nature reserve there if there's anything left. Actually, let's do that. I know it's cut off, but we can probably negotiate with Guyana or some Venezuela, or one of these countries, to get access to it. It's, of course, not a real issue. I'm just thinking if it were. Confirm. Accepted. And we are at peace and in the last stretch. So let me close this diplomacy tab here. This is just all our truces at the moment. And warmonger is so crazy, I'm going to close that so we don't have to look at it and strain our eyes. We're not researching anything. We don't have any action points. That's the thing. Maybe we can put something in place just for the, for the sake of it. But I think all of it will take action points or not. Hmm. Maybe not. Arms production economy. We can do that. It costs a lot, but of course we have more than enough money. So we'll do that. And is there anything else? Anything? Should be something else that doesn't take action points. Mm, let's look at another tab. Trade, I think we're still doing okay here. We still have enough minerals. We're importing a lot. What can we do here? Propaganda school program? No, I still don't want that. Internal politics. Let's do that. Show the prestige of your government to the world by making huge investments in the most representative national buildings. Do it. We haven't lost a single war in this entire campaign, have we? Not as far as I can remember. Oh yes, there was that whole thing with Mashrik and then we had to stop that, but that was a white piece, wasn't it? I don't know, I can't remember, but recently at least we haven't lost anything and we each time managed to get some territory from the countries that offended us, so to speak. Let's just clear these notices. Not even going to bother reading them. Just need to clear that for the last stretch and then go to the stock exchange and just take care of all of our oh, no action points. We should hopefully start seeing some more. So I can't convince the uh, Ugandans to stay now. Because we need action points. Let's hope they don't leave us in the last four months. Only 1% unhappiness and it's again in Victoria land. And I was wrong, it seems we do need missing, we do have missing industry profile there. So we should get more trade. Let's cancel the big imports and get the huge imports. Of course, we don't have any action points, so I just shot us now in the foot here. Oh well, it's all over anyway. Let's get our troops back home to just prepare for the for the new century. Who knows what's going to happen? Political scandal. Take some secret tapes 
stir in unf- a few unfortunately uttered words and add a pinch of meddling journalists. It's the perfect recipe for unwanted problems. Commence interrogation or fire those involved. Well, we don't have the action point, so I have to choose the firing those involved. At least that's something. Uh, Well, here we are at the end of all things. Isn't that what they said in Lord of the Rings? Pakistan is bankrupt. Yes, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Peace peace between Mashariq and Iran, and it was a white peace by the looks of it. Or did they... I think Iran managed to take Mosul here. That was that wasn't part of Iran before, I think, which is good then. Peace treaty between us and the U.S. expired, but I'm not going to bother again. Not now. It's almost the end. China. Should we do something against China to hurt their nuclear program? Why not? Let's do it. What an exciting time. It looks like Malaysia is winning against Indonesia. Any other wars? Uh, Nepal lost its independence there. Peace treaty between Russia and Belarus. It seems that... Did Belarus take this chunk? I think they did, actually. So Russia lost that one. Let's speed it up a bit. Summit crisis between the US and Europea. Well, we're going to support Europea now. Uganda left the block. Oh, well. Some chance that Angola might leave, our oldest block member, but New South Sudan isn't thinking about it, nor is Baghdad. And we're almost there. It's almost Christmas. So Merry Christmas in the last year. Canada attack. What? You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. With like five days until the end, Canada, of all countries, decides to start some beef here. Well, we'll assign everything. We'll anyway win. There's no question, but it will end before then. Start immediately. Pause. Go to the screen if I can, because it's going to end now. Pause. Let's just put up a secure front. We'll go out swinging. Why not? I wonder what's going to happen. It's over. It's done. You lose. Uh, That's nonsense anyway. Everything is lost. Oh, the humanity. It's only saying that because we're second in score. But, of course, we don't believe that. I don't know why it says buy full version down here. Because I do have the full version. Hmm. Strange. Maybe if you have a, a demo version or something. Well, for me... I'll say we won. There's no question. It's, if you're not number one in score, that doesn't mean you lose. It's just obviously you didn't get the most score. But we gave it one heck of a try. So we there we go. It's the end of history. And this has been an amazing series. I've really enjoyed it so much. Let's have a look at the statistics before we go anywhere else. So in score, obviously, we have second place there. In money, we're only seventh. That's interesting. Seems like uh, the other countries here have amassed a much bigger fortune than we have. They haven't been spending as much as we have. Province count, we win. So we're the largest country in the world now. I'm not sure because some provinces are, of course, larger than others. So at least we have the most. So that's one thing. GDP size, we're third, so we did we move up? I think, no, we were third when we looked at the UN Council last time. All of them are authoritarian. Austria is the first democracy on the list, followed by Nigeria and Switzerland. So all of the others went authoritarian. So from, from what, what did we start with? I don't even know. But from whatever to third place in economy size, that is an achievement. That's a victory for me. Army, of course, we have over a thousand. If we just look at the rest, I think we probably, well, I don't think we'll have more than the rest of the world put together, but clearly there's no one who can challenge us. Where's the US? 68. Indonesia is the second largest. Can you believe it? 
Transports, of course, we win. Population, we have the third largest population in the world behind Indonesia. Where is the US? Vietnam is number seven. Must be crowded. UK, US is only 17th. Interesting. Of course, there's no real correlation between these numbers and real world numbers, I think, anyway. Let's just have a look. 342, is that like 342 million? That can't be because it's, that's not very much different from what it is today. China, three, they can't have three billion people. Uh, I don't know. There's no correlation here between this and the real population number. But anyway, we're third. Is there anything else we can look at? Provinces, GDP size, South Korea has the most valuable province. I think South Korea is probably a one province country, that's why. East Coast, well, the New York part of South Africa now is uh, the ninth most prosperous province. Population, Mozambique is actually fifth. How interesting. People must have really liked the beaches there. Culture, okay, that doesn't really matter. Score, East Coast is third. So Upper South, for some reason, is second. And Central China is first. Unhappiness, Baluchistan is the worst off. Upper Egypt is the happiest, it seems. Where's our one? Zambia is the happiest province in South Africa. Most natural resources is under tide, so we own that. And of course, Vladivostok as well. So we have first and fifth place. And that's just, I guess, sorting it by name. Player, so this is all of our parts here, all of the provinces. Don't know if there's much to look at here. Project maintenance, uh, money, we've spent the most on the Super Parents Grand Lottery and the Great Offensive, strangely enough, even though that's a very new one. Action points, diplomatic offensive, because of all our misdeeds, it's been quite expensive to convince the rest of the world that it's not really misdeeds. And natural resources, we didn't have to pay any maintenance for a project with that. So I guess that's that. Thank you for watching. I'm sure if I press continue we could just go on with the game. Maybe I'll just do that and pause. It's now the day after the end of history. Just so we can have one last look. There's our uh, American holdings. We now have the Amazon there. Southern Africa. Parts of Russia we took over. And so yes, yeah, South Korea is a one province country. So that's why it's so concentrated in wealth. What does Angola want? No, I'm not even going to look. No, it's over. Maybe I'll just take one last screenshot here. Unfortunately, now we have to look at this Canada thing here. Oh, well, that's how we ended it. And that's that. Thank you for watching. I will do, I think, another episode where we look at our options now. But I'm thinking Somalia is the next step, but there's one other thing I might like to mention. So, in any case, that's for next time. That concludes this series, and as always, have a fantastic day.